In this part, we are going to create the radio groups by using the headless UI and also with the Next.js. So we are going to create a project by typing yarn create next app. So we go to any folders and then we type yarn create next app and then we type yt learn and this UI and this is the, the project name. So we type uh, because we are going to uh, create the radio group, so we just type radio and then we will install the Tailwind CSS just like other uh, headless UI project so we can copy this so after it finished we paste the command uh, sorry it should it should enter the project first, so we type yt learn headless UI and then we type radio and then we paste the command and after it finish we have to go to the tailwind config file so we copy this and then we type cook dot to enter the project and after we enter the project, we can see this tailwind.config file. So we can replace this with what we just uh, what we just copied. And then we go to the globals.css and then we go to uh, styles global.css and then we replace all of this. And then now we can start creating our radio group. So we go to the uh, radio groups. So we have to create a components folder, and then we just like the documentations and create a my radio group JS. So under the components, we create my radio groups .js, and then we type RAFCE. So we have the radio groups components and. So we have to, uh, we should use this example is better because normally we have, we have data from, we have data from the database. So we should not hard cook the, the data. And so we copy from this example and we use, we copy the constant uh, plans and then we back to the project and then we we use the following example uh, so we copy this radio group and then we go back to here and then we save it now we have the label and we have the radio groups and the value is the plan and the on change is uh, set plan. So actually this also use the use stage. So we have to copy this and here to paste, we paste the constant plan, set plans and use date. And we have to import from the React. So now I think this is good to go but actually we do not have any check icon yet so we can command this and now we go to try to young dev to uh, see what happened and see whether there are any errors uh, we should back to the index so we go to the pages index and then we remove all of this and we just have the div and now we can also remove the headings and then we import my radio group the radio group is not divided uh, actually because we haven't installed the 
we haven't installed the uh, headless UI React, so we copy this command and then we stop the server and then we paste the command at the terminal and we also have to import the radio group from the headless UI so we back to the top of the my radio groups components And actually, because we cannot use the object as the key, so we have to change this to pen.name, and this is also pen.name. And then we, uh, let's see whether we have to import the fragment from React. So now we have import the fragment from React, and then we type yarn dev again. Now we can see the the radio button and this is not very beautiful and we will style this. Uh, so if you look at this this class name, this is active and so we try to copy this this class uh, because before the radio group, we copy the div that wrap the. I think this wrap, wrap the all the radio group. So we can uh, create two div. And then we also copy the class name. So first we copy this and paste to here. And then we also paste the another div. Now we can see it's centered the radio group because we're using this mx auto and uh, the max width is md and it seems that we i think we should add some background colors uh at the at the index.js so we type class name is equal to bg blue uh, for example is is uh, 400 now this makes the uh, this is more clear and then we add the uh, another uh, class name at the options so we copy this uh, active and then we replace uh, this active style so this is the radio group dot options and this is also the radio group options So now we can check if we click on this, it has some um, uh, 
borders around this rectangle. And then we also copy this. So after the end of the curly bracket, we paste this. So now you can see uh, it removed the bullet point and also it has some, I think this paddings because of this px5 and px4 and we have the round corners and we also use the frax system so now you can see it has some round corner, corner but you can see uh, you can see it should have some separations between each radio button so if you look at this it has it has the space Y2 so we can copy this class name which wrap the radio options so we back to uh, this is the plans the plans dot map is here so we can we can copy the div and then after the end of all the options we close the div uh, maybe this is wrong and let's try uh, this now you can see it has uh, the radio buttons and also uh, I think this is better to use the edge screen maybe we can go to uh, the the index page and then we back to here and type edge screen the height of screen so now you can see it takes the, all the width of the height of the screen and now you can uh, simply make this radio button now we are going to try to add chat box like this so we have to go to use the hero icon and if we go to the documentations you can see we have to uh, install the uh, hero icon so we back to the terminal we stop the server and then we paste the command And then if you look at the documentations of the uh, headless UI and we have to import the checkbox so let's see the check icon so we copy this and then we paste to the project so we back to here but we do not need the 20 and if you remember we already has the check to check the if there is checked we have to add the checkbox so we uncomment this and then we add the class name to set the width and height so we set the height is 6 and width is 6 and then we, we are going to save this and then we type young dev and then we go to localhost 3000 Now uh, we have to add the 20 here and then we go back to the chat icon and now you can see if we click on this we can 
see the check icon and now you can see the check icon is at the in the front so we have to rearrange the orders so we use the plan.name before the checkbox and also we want them to go to the to end so we use the flex and then use justify between and then we save it now you can see when we click on this you can see the check mark at the end of the box just like this but there is a, a little bit weird that the mark just like jumping and this is because we should add the justify between not inside the conditions curly bracket it should be outside this so we add after this flex and we actually do not need the flex so we save it and now if we back to this one you can see this is much better and there is no the check mark jumping and now we are going to go to the documentations of using the label and description components so we can uh, just like is demo you can see it has the descriptions and if you click on this the color of, of the text will become white so we back to the using label and and uh, the descriptions so now we can copy this radio dot label and and if you remember we have used the facts at the at the list list items so in order to remain there are two items here we are going to use the div to wrap the plan name because later we will also add the plan dot uh, ram and plan dot cpus because we have this in our object so now first we go to copy the radio group dot labels to wrap the pen dot name and then we have the radio dot radio group dot descriptions and actually I think you already can see the difference let me save it and then we go to here when you click on this you can see the the color change it will change to white color and and then we go to uh, copy the the descriptions it will display as span and it will change to to uh, sky colors and if this is not checked if you go to gray color so we copy of the descriptions and paste after the label and save it now if you back to back to the local host you can see this is uh, great in colors but if you check this item the description will turn to a, a sky color uh, which is this this text sky 100 and it also display the the this the plan dot this so it will display the hard disk and also the RAM and also the CPUs and this is how to add the descriptions and also the label